Hey, welcome to this video. Um, today we're going to take a look at properly stopping cutscenes to keep them from looping or behaving uh, in odd ways. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it here. The first thing you want to look at is that at the bottom left we have two maps. Um, this is solely so we can start the cutscene when we want to and so it doesn't just start when the game starts. Um, we're going to start right here, walk up to this tile, and it will teleport us to th uh, this tile right here, and then we'll witness a cutscene between these two fine gentlemen. Um, I haven't done anything other than build these two and give them names. They have literally nothing inside of their event commands, and this event down here is simply the uh, the cutscene event. This is the one we're going to use to build the cutscene. Um, all you need to do here is make sure the trigger is set to parallel process and then you're ready to build your cutscene. So the first things first here, we're going to go to show text, blah blah blah. Um, and we're actually going to insert an event above that that is show animation on the Lord Knight event. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom, EM exclamation. This is just so we know that it's him talking. So we'll show this and then he will talk a little bit. Um, we will wait 20 frames, and then once again we will show animation, except this time we're going to do it on our assassin. And we're going to do a question mark this time instead of an exclamation point, and we'll have him say some text like blah blah blah, the question mark at the end, so that it, uh, so that it looks right. Um, afterwards we will add another wait command and the reason for these wait commands is just to get it timed properly so everything isn't just um, one thing right after the other it makes it look kind of kind of choppy and odd I like to have a little bit of a uh, little bit of timing uh, in between the cutscenes here so that's not a necessity in fact none of this is a necessity it's just sort of a demo cutscene um, moving on here after they talk a little bit we're gonna have the uh, or we're gonna set a move route for the Lord Knight we're gonna have them move right twice and that will put him right here on this tile and then uh, insert wait for moves completion and once he's moved we'll set another move route for the assassin we'll have him move left twice so now he will be here they'll be one tile away from each other and just kind of staring each other down so uh, now we're gonna make one of them kill the other one and uh, that should be should be interesting. Um, so we'll go ahead and insert, wait for moves completion. Uh, we'll go ahead and show, actually we'll just go up here and copy this one for the Lord Knight. We'll paste it here to have him exclaim something else. Uh, we'll show some more text here. Blah 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 die in all caps with an exclamation point. Uh, we'll once again insert another wait of 20 frames to give it a little more, uh, a little more depth. And now, uh, we will show an animation on the assassin. I'm going to show a simple knife animation. And just so you know, this cutscene is not going to look that great. They're going to be standing one tile away from each other, and you're just going to see an animation on top of the assassin. And then the assassin will die. Um, really not a very special cutscene. Um, you know, you can make them clash together and run around and fight and be real cool, but that, you know, it takes a little bit of work and experimentation. So just for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it short, sweet, and a little bit choppy and shitty. Um, so once we have the animation of the knife on the assassin, uh, here's something interesting. Let's say after he gets cut, we want the assassin to fall down. What we need to do is go to the assassin's event and create a new page. Um, now when switch assassin dead, apply and OK. So uh, to kind of explain this a little bit, if you haven't seen some of the other videos on this page too, when the switch assassin dead is on, it's going to make his graphic change. Uh, you can make it do anything, but just for this event we want him to, uh, want him to fall down. So now, um, we'll look at this when the switch Assassin Dead is on, it will change his graphic to this downed graphic. So, uh, very simple stuff here. So we'll go back to our event that we, we own here. So the Assassin just got stabbed, or we just showed the animation of a knife on the Assassin. So now we will play a sound effect. What would be a good one for him here? What's a good dying sound? Um, 
I actually think there is a knock sound effect that sounds pretty good. There we go. That kind of sounds like a dude hitting the ground. We can lower the pitch a little bit. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a guy hitting the ground. So we'll play that sound effect and uh, we're going to insert a weight above the knock sound effect. And this is so he gets stabbed, it waits a few seconds, and then he falls down. Once again, just for effect, you can do that however you want. I just prefer to have the weights. So now that we have the assassin being knifed, it waits 20 seconds, plays a sound effect, and now we just need him to fall down. So we're going to add an event, control switches, and we will turn assassin dead on. Press OK. So now basically at the end of this cutscene, it plays the knock, turns that on. Our assassin here will switch to page two and he will be down. Um, for more effect, we can actually go back to our thing here and when it plays that sound effect, we can also add a screen flash and we can have it flash red for 10 frames. Um, so very short, just one second. So the screen will flash red as he gets knifed. It'll make the sound of him falling down and then he's dead. Um, once again, we will have this wait 20 frames and then we will have, uh, oh, I'm sorry, we'll cancel this. Um, everything's fine that we've done so far. We just need to, there's an easier way to do this. We'll once again copy the Lord Knight exclamation, paste that after he falls down and have the Lord Knight say something like, Bah ha ha ha, I killed you, little boy. Awesome. So now, uh, this, this will happen immediately once we teleport to this map. This whole event chain will go, um, and we'll see the cutscene. Now the problem that people are having is that this is where they stop. Um, because this is parallel process and it's just constantly running, the problem is, is after he says, Bah ha ha ha, I killed you little boy, our event commands are going to go back to the top. And it's going to start saying blah blah blah, wait 20 frames, show stuff on our dead assassin. It's just going to be weird, it's going to be one big clusterfuck and it's not going to look proper. Um, in fact, it, it won't work at all. So what we need to do here is add a new event page on the event that controls our cutscene. We're going to go to our self switch, uh, our conditions rather, self switch A is on and we're leaving it completely blank. Now the purpose for this is now that the cutscene is over, we're going to go back to our first page here and then we're going to add an event at the very end that is control self switch A on OK. Now what this is going to do is once the cutscene is finished, which is when the Lord Knight says bah ha ha, I killed you little boy, control self switch A turns on and it takes us to page 2 and there's nothing here. Um, that stops the parallel process and that also just is a, it takes it to a blank page so that, that cutscene will no longer run. Um, and at that point everything should be good to go. So I'm going to show you real quick without uh, we're going to delete this page and I'm just going to delete this self switch and I'm going to show you what happens when you play test it without that so you can get an accurate idea of the problem so here's our little guy la 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 we run around go up here and the cutscene begins blah 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 walks towards him die Bah ha ha, I killed you little boy. And now the cutscene is repeating itself. And they're walking, and he's going to kill the dead body again, and it's just going to be kind of weird, it's not going to work. So we go back to this. At the very end, we will add a control self switch A is on. New event page, set the condition that self switch A is on. Now when we run the game, and watch the cutscene, what should happen is that the cutscene ends. No screen flash though, that's kind of weird. Maybe because we only set it for 10 frames you just can't see it. I'm not sure exactly. But now you'll notice that the cutscene has stopped. Everything is over and now you can just have it do whatever you want. So, now that we're here, um, that, that should be just about everything. Um, 
that's the pretty much the gist of getting a cutscene to stop. Um, the only problem is is that um, if you are to teleport off this map, for example, if we could go back to map number two and then come back to map number one, um, I believe uh, there's a chance that your cutscene would just repeat itself. So if you left the map and came back, it's possible that your cutscene would repeat itself. I've seen it happen. I've also seen it not happen. Um, but to avoid that happening, basically what you can do is just copy this map, map number one, paste it, and uh, just have it teleport you to this new map and just delete the cutscene altogether. So everything looks exactly the same, um, except you would want to move this guy up, change his graphic to down, move this guy up, just so it looks the same as when you ended the cutscene. Um, just that way you wouldn't even be able to tell you transferred maps, but as far as the mechanics go, the cutscene would just be gone completely in the second map. So if you look here at map 01, we have our cutscene, everything's going just in case it, it would come back. Um, you would have another map that you teleport to at the end that would look exactly the same as when the cutscene ended, but there is no cutscene variable here. Um, there's nothing that's going to run the cutscene, and then you're free to do whatever you want from that point. Um, I hope this wasn't too confusing. It's actually a pretty easy concept to pick up once you've done it a few times. Um, if you have any further questions, just send me a message on YouTube. I'll make a video response or I'll respond to you. Um, I know I've been pretty bad about that in the past, but I'm trying real hard to get this up and going again. So, uh, yeah, just let me know if you have any problems. And uh, at this point, everything should be good to go. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.